The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Good evening, everyone. I hope you had a fantastic day, even though it was full of rain and cold temperatures. We are still continuing to deal with uh, multiple waves of rain at this time. The Hill City, parts of South Side dealing with some moderate rain out there. South Boston dealing uh, with the heaviest stuff out towards the east. The Roanoke Valley starting to see a small wave of rain there. And then the New River Valley continuing to see some rain pushing through. There are little uh, pockets of light to moderate rain building in through out parts of the region. We're seeing uh, those areas of light yellow on your screen. That's a little bit more heavier rain. And then one little pocket there moving in to uh, parts of the New River Valley like Giles County here very, very shortly uh, going to be bringing some much needed rainfall. Speaking of much needed rainfall, the month of October was very, very dry. The first half of November was very, very dry. We've had maybe about three to four cold fronts pass through that have brought some measurable rain. When I say measurable, I only mean 0 0.01 inches or more. Uh, we've only seen about maybe an inch of rain in the past six, seven weeks here in the Roanoke Valley. So today brought some much needed rain and that's going to be doing wonders to the drought that was rapidly developing within the last week. So we've seen anywhere from about a quarter of an inch of rain all the way up to an inch and a quarter of rain. Martinsville seems to be the spot right now with the most accumulation over the past 24 hours at just shy of uh, one and a half inches of rain throughout the remainder of the evening. We're going to stay mostly cloudy. It's going to be really cool out there. Temperatures are going to stay right around that 40 degree mark and then rain showers are going to continue to develop from time to time. So here's a look at 10 PM. A couple of rain showers moving into Bedford County. Uh, into Appomattox, Amherst, Campbell County shortly after, then continuing to push off east. Everywhere else by morning is going to be dealing with mostly cloudy skies, perhaps some patchy fog developing, maybe even a little bit of patchy frost, uh, primarily for those of us high up in the mountaintops. By 6 a.m., a little bit of sunshine also starting to develop. Remember, the sun does rise a little bit earlier now uh, since two weeks ago. And then Friday by noon, a lot more sunshine is going to start to come out and then by 3 p.m. Uh, mostly sunny skies are going to try to dominate at times and we could see maybe a little stray shower from time to time between the hours of about 6 a.m. and about 12 p.m. tomorrow. Temperatures out there right now 43 for Roanoke and the Hill City, Danville, Alta Vista, South Boston all at 45, Pulaski at 40 as is Independence, Covington and Lexington at 41 and 42. Okay, if you're headed out the door within the next couple of minutes, maybe you're working the night shift today, maybe you're late to dinner, maybe you're going out grabbing groceries, running a late errand, whatever it is you got to do, go ahead and grab the rain gear because uh, we're going to have a couple of those rain showers uh, consistently passing by throughout the next couple of hours before finally wrapping up by about midnight. Low temperatures tonight, again, going to stay right around that 40 degree mark thanks to some of the cloud cover that we're seeing. So we're not going to cool down much. We're also not going to warm up much. However, over the next couple of days, that area of low pressure is going to be pushing out, uh, bringing our rain chances to zero. High pressure will start to build back in. That means once we head into the weekend, will actually start to warm up. So you notice tomorrow we're at 61 compared to today's high temperature of 43. That is 18 degrees warmer. Saturday we get to 64. Sunday we get to 67. And then we continue in the 60s through at least next Wednesday.